Hey, Geeks, Tim Tippett's with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're taking a look at WinX Menu Editor from WinArrow. This is pretty cool. So if you ever use your WinX key in Windows 10, you probably use, I use this a lot to go to PowerShell, for example. But if you're somebody who finds yourself using the WinX key quite a bit, or maybe you just never saw it before, or paid attention to it, and thought, hey, I sure wish I could move this stuff around, add stuff to it, remove stuff. Well, now you can. So you're going to download this as a zip. I will put the link in the video description, so check there. It has some DLLs that are required, so you cannot just run the executable by itself, but instead extract everything to a folder. And when you do, you want to run this WinX editor. Great little program, super easy to use. So you can see right here, it's a little out of date. Um, for example, I think since Windows 10 1903 came out, this is due for an update. Hopefully he'll get on that and let us know. But if you press your Windows key plus X, you can see most of the stuff matches. For example, the Mobility Center is not here. but And some of the stuff has been renamed, making me think this goes back quite a ways. There's your Programs and Features, which is actually Apps and Features, Power Options, Event Viewer, System. See how we're doing this now? Going right down the line. So to make something obvious, let's take App and Features and we'll remove it. And before we do, just note that you're in groups. So there's group three. Scroll on down, task manager, settings, which is, he's calling it control panel. It's settings in Windows 10 now. File Explorer, search and run. So that's group two and there is group three. So let's go up here, click on programs and features and we're gonna click remove. Now, you're not gonna see that right away until you restart Explorer right here. Really handy. Restart it, press your Windows key plus X and as you can see, it's gone from here. So now the other thing you can do is add a program. What I like about this is you can add a control panel item or an administrative tool item. He also has a few presets, paint, calculator, pretty slick, right? So let's add an administrative tool item. Let's go with disk cleanup. Select that. And now you can see there is disk cleanup. Let's restart Explorer and press the Windows key again, plus X. And there's your disk cleanup shortcut. Change your mind. Just remove it. Here's another neat thing. You want to move it to the bottom. You can do that. Restart Explorer to see it. And there it is down here at the bottom. So now you can move everything around. So let's say power options. I want event viewer above power options. We'll take event viewer, right click, move it up one. Restart Explorer. And there you go. Event viewer is now on top of that. So watch out for the remove button. Whatever you're highlighted, it is going to remove whatever's highlighted. So if you're clicking on a group and you hit remove, it does warn you, but be, just be careful with it. Of course, a neat thing now is you can go ahead and accidentally remove it by just clicking on restore defaults. This is another thing. It's written in my review of the file download. I've hit some error messages. Again, I think it needs to be updated, but it's a really good program anyway. So see, it didn't change it back. So now you got yourself a problem. Now let's try it. There we go. Apps and Features is back at the top. So if you get that error, go ahead and do it twice. It's one of those little things you've got to put up with. So another neat thing, which I like, is creating a group. Now called Group 4. Now you can spot the groups by the lines. See that line right there? So that's Group 3, Line, Group 2, Line. See that? So once again, Restart Explorer. Let's add something to group four. I forgot about that. Let's say, uh, let's add a preset. We'll put paint on there. Now we restart Explorer again. Press the Windows key plus X. And there's paint in group number four. And of course, once again, just right click, rename it, remove it, etc. Add something to it. So the right click menu is pretty handy. You can do it through here, but pretty much everything you want to do you can do through the right click menu so I like that a lot so once again we can remove it goodbye restart Windows key plus X oh stop it I hit the wrong key ah what are we doing here let's try this again there you go and group 4 is gone so it's pretty neat you don't have to worry about backing up your registry or even using a restore point or anything so far as mentioned there's an error or two that pops up, but you can get around them. And hopefully our buds over at WinArrow see this and say, oh, crap, we need to update this. So another good example is the command prompt. You see it's in here twice. We don't know why because 
command prompt is missing. Everything is PowerShell. So once again, they just simply don't show up over here. So still, I think you get the point. It's pretty cool what you can do with it. I mean, it's it's well thought out. I picked it up, installed it, and right away I was just moving stuff everywhere. I didn't even notice these arrow buttons here before either. That's cool. Windows PowerShell. Move up. Move to the top. Slick. I use that a lot, so that could be handy. Win X. There it is. Windows PowerShell at the top. So, um, Like I said, we just started the thing up. Played around with it. And we just what you just saw right now, this is actually my second time using it. That's how easy it is to use. I've never really even seen it before, but right away, right out of the gate, no problem using it all. So once again, the link to download this will be in the video description. When you get to the page that has the file, there's a review and this video, which I think we covered everything in the review, where I kind of go over step by step what I thought of the program, etc. in addition to this video. So hey, as always, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.